Yo guys, what's up? Davis here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your RGH or JTAG online. Currently this console right here is online. And as you can see we're on XBL Ballin, which is what we will be using for this video. And so we're on the latest dash, which is 17511 currently today, which is May 13th, 2017. And we're going to be getting this console online. And we're going to be using a blank hard drive. So you can you can take one of these hard drives and put it in. Uh, this will also work for the fat, like with one of these hard drives as well. Um, so yeah. And now you can take. Uh, say if you bought a console for me, uh, you won't need to follow this video at all. Uh, this is be this will be just for setting your console up if it has like a hard drive and it doesn't have any files on it at all. I'll be showing you how to put XCX menu and everything on it. Uh, from scratch so like this has nothing on it we're gonna put that in that black console right there and we're gonna get it online from scratch and it'll be really simple um, so yeah what you're gonna need is you're going to need a flash drive you're gonna need a hard drive too if you don't have a hard drive then it's not gonna let you online now uh, if you do have a, a, a laptop um, hard drive like say if you have a broken laptop or something uh, a two point five inch a uh, hard drive that'll work fine that'll fit right into the slim and then you can also put it in the uh, one of these things just like how that one is those will work for RGH but they won't work for a retail console so yeah you can use that hard drive uh, out of a broken laptop or something like that if you don't have a hard drive to get your console on but you need a hard drive to get get it online because the USB doesn't work so yeah you're definitely gonna need the, the USB this one is just a 32 gigabyte uh, USB flash drive. It, it only needs to be like four, giga, four gigabytes or something. It's, the files aren't too big. So uh, we're gonna go on the computer now. You're gonna need a computer, obviously. So uh, I'm gonna show you what to do on there, what files you're gonna need to download. Yo guys, so we're on the computer now <clears throat> and we have our flash drive plugged in right now. So if you don't have your flash drive plugged in, you're gonna wanna do that. And uh, I'll show you right here. Flash drive is plugged in, so I'm gonna move this down over here real quick, just to show you guys. So these are the files you're gonna need. You're not gonna need anything else. Uh, this is probably the most simplest tutorial ever to get your console online. Um, anyway, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have you're gonna download this, and it's gonna be a RAR file, and you're gonna have to right click on it. And you're gonna have to click extract. Now this will work on a Mac, but you're gonna have to get something so you can extract this folder. Uh, I'm not really sure what's on a Mac that you can do that with, but uh, it will work. You'll just have to do your research and, that, and do all that stuff. So anyway, once you um, extract that, you're going to get a, this folder. Now, if you put this on your console, this whole folder, it's not going to work uh, just because it's a, it's a .rar file. So you're going to have to extract it to get this folder. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to open this up and uh, this is your one setup file. So this has everything in it, like Dash Launch and Aurora, uh, Freestyle Dash, and all the plugins and stuff you need. So, um, yeah, you're gonna want that. So we're gonna take both of these files and we're gonna copy them to our flash drive. Now, uh, this content folder, it, it actually has XEX menu on it. So um, when you put it on here, XEX menu will be on your flash drive. So I'm gonna put this on here. We're just gonna drag it and drop it over to our removable disk or our flash drive. And uh, once that's done copying, I'll see you guys on the Xbox. All right guys, so we're now turning on our console. And right now I already have my flash drive plugged in. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way over to settings, then system, storage. And as you can see, there's nothing on the hard drive at all. It's a blank hard drive. And uh, if you do put a computer hard drive in there, like I mentioned earlier, uh, it'll say unformat it, which is normal. And you can just format it and it'll work. And so anyway, we're gonna go to the flash drive now. So I already have my flash drive plugged in. It does have XCX menu on it. We're gonna copy that. And we're gonna have to make a profile. All right, so then copy. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna connect to the internet after this is done copying. And now if, if you already have a, if you have an ethernet cable then you don't have to worry about it. Just plug that in the back. 
Um, but we're, if you have wireless internet, you're going to need to connect to that. Uh, so go ahead and connect to your internet. Now, it's going to say failed this time. Now, that's normal. So don't worry about that. It'll be fixed here in a little bit. But you just need to connect to your internet. You don't actually need to get online yet. Uh, so anyway, after you do that, we're going to go all the way over to My Games and XCX menu. We're going to click RB and we're going to click if you click back, it'll actually show you how to use XCX menu. But uh, we're just going to click Y, click copy, and click X, and we're going to go to HDD1, click Y and paste. And then that should paste really quickly. Alright, so that's done copying now. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into Dash Launch. So we're going to click on one set of files and click Dash Launch. And we're going to click Installer, click Default.xex. And at the bottom right, it'll tell you what motherboard your console is. And then it tells you what your dashboard is and the glitch type. Uh, so that's also something helpful if you need to update your NAND. That's where you can go to actually uh, learn how to... Or this will help you update your console. So uh, anyway, when you go into in the dash launch it may ask you to update if it does you want to click yes and so yeah you need to do that first so then once we do that we can back out of here we're gonna go back into my games XCX menu and we're gonna go to Aurora so we're gonna go um, my hard drive sorry uh, hard drive, one set of files, Aurora, and then we're going to click the default.xex or the Aurora.xex. That'll start it. And then uh, we're going to click the back button. Uh, you know, like the start and back button, we're going to click that. And then we're going to click File Manager. And then we're going to go down to HDD1, one set of files, and then go to Plugins. And we're going to hold X and we're going to select all these and scroll over to the left and so you have like this thing we're going to copy all of these and then we're going to click b so we're back on xbox 360 slash system slash hdd1 we're going to click paste and now we have all those on there and now what we're going to do before we actually uh go back to before we go and restart our console, we're gonna go back to dash launch. So HDG1, one setup files, dash launch, installer, default.xex. And we're gonna go click LB, and now we're gonna click A and load the uh, settings from a hard drive, which is what we actually just copied, the launch I and I, and all the plugins and everything. Um, so yeah, we click A on HDD, and then it loads all the settings and then we're going to click RB to go back and we're going to go to plugins now plugin 2 is usually your stealth server uh, this one right here has ninja on it if you click A you can change it so like we have deception deception live and then we have ninja real nigga stealth and XBL ballin now some of those servers you're going to have to pay for so be sure to actually you know do your research on that and um, otherwise it's not going to let you boot past the logo and stuff like that if you don't pay for them. We're going to use XBL Ballin because it's free and it automatically adds your CPU key and everything to the server itself. And so yeah after you add that we're just going to click RB and we're going to click X on HDD which will save it and now we're going to restart our console. Alright guys, so the console booted back up. Now, it may restart a few times. Make sure to unplug your flash drive first. Now, this console is banned, but it's actually, it's online, like pretty much. You just have to put a KV on, clear cache, cache or whatever it's called, and then you're online. So, and it's that simple. There will be a separate link in the description to uh, install a KV. Uh, I'm just going to put one on real quick to show you guys that it is actually working. All right guys, so we're on the, the desktop again. 
and I'm just gonna put a KV on real quick and I'm gonna explain some things. Now I'm gonna have a, a separate video in the link in the description to actually learn how to set up a KV and install it and everything. It's really simple to be honest. Um, but if you guys wanna do this, all you have to do is just install Xbox 360 Neighborhood, which I'll have a link in the description to that as well. And just install it. And it'll take a little bit to install, but it'll be really, it, it, you can do it in, the, in one day. <laughs> But uh, we're going to open that up and we're going to go to JTAG and the video will explain more but it's it's honestly really simple to use neighborhood. Um, so anyway this is our KV right here. Now you can get KVs from KV sellers obviously which I will have a link in the description of that as well. We're going to rename this to KV.bin. Now my, um, it doesn't actually tell me what like the file version is but it's actually a .bin. So, if I were to rename it .bin, it would be it would show up as a kv.bin.bin. So that's why I just need to rename it as kv for me because it doesn't actually say it's a .bin file. If you guys understand. Um, so anyway, we're just gonna drag and drop this right onto the uh, root of the hard drive, and if we scroll down, it'll be right there. So now all we gotta do is restart our console. So I have it up here right now. I'm gonna turn it off. And then turn it back on. So we got our notification that says uh, XPL Ballin Lifetime Client. And it, it didn't say that we're connected to live. And I think I know the reason why. So this will also include a little fix for you guys. Um, so we're going to go to System. That's a little bit delayed on the computer screen, but. Uh, you can still see. We're gonna go to storage and we're gonna click Y and we're gonna click clear system ca cache or whatever. Click yes. And then we're gonna go to network. Click on it and then we're gonna test our connection. Or it might actually not give us an update. So yes, we're online. Uh, if you do get an avatar, uh, an update right here, it'll ask you to update. Um, if you're on the latest dashboard, then you're going to want to click yes. So yeah, it actually does need an update. So we're going to click yes. All right, guys. So it was just done updating and now it restarted. And it should be online. And we're ready to go, ready to mod and everything. And now you guys can install your games and your mod menus and stuff like that and mod online so yeah we're online guys uh, I really appreciate you guys watching um, if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a like and maybe subscribe if not then I guess you can dislike it but anyway guys you have a great night